Hello everybody, my name is Brian Stewart and welcome back to WorldCom Edu Easy Story House Series. As you may know, this is a group storytelling project by many children who will read parts of the story or remember, just tell the story from memory, from what they remember of the story. So this is a very good project. It's a great project for kids to learn easy to understand English and to remember parts of a story and to speak English naturally, hopefully, as and also relate an important story. Now, each of these stories, of course, is world famous and they all have different morals or lessons. The lesson of this story that we're going to take a look at today is the five brothers the lesson is that there are five different brothers and each brother has his own unique ability and that's true in the world everybody has their own special talent or ability and if we all work together we can accomplish great things and that was what the story is about so what do these brothers do what are their abilities well let's find out let's take a listen to several children relating different parts of the story let's take a look page two once upon a time, there were five brothers. They all looked alike. They lived with their mother. They lived in a little house by the sea. Their father was a sorcerer, and the five brothers came to have special, very special abilities too. The first brother could drink up the whole sea. He could hold the sea in his mouth. One morning, the king wanted to go swimming. To his surprise, there was no water. The king said, What happened to the water? Who took the water away? Go and find him. So the king's guards looked for the man. The first brother saw the guard coming. He quickly put the world back in each place. His brothers hurried home with the fish. The king saw the first brother. The king said, How can you take all of the sea? The king was angry. He was very angry. He told his guards, cover the man's eyes, take him deep into the forest, leave him there by himself. Just then the first brother said, sir, my mother is home by herself. Please let me go home and say goodbye to her. The king said, it's only fair. So the first brother went home. He asked the second brother to go back in his place. Day 7. The second brother went back to the king. The guards covered the second brother's eyes. They took him to the forest. They took him deep into the forest. They left him in the forest by himself. But the second brother could see through the back of his hand. He was also very good with directions. He knew where he was, and he also knew how to get back. The girl saw him walking home. They were surprised and took him to the king. The king said, How clever you are! The king was not pleased. The king said to his guards, Lock him inside the box. Carry him by carriage to another kingdom. Surely he cannot get away now. The second brother said, Sir, my mother is home by herself. Please let me go home and say goodbye to her. The king said, It's only fair. Go now. So the second brother went home. He asked the third brother to go back in his place. The third brother ran back to the king. The king's guards locked him in a box and put the box on a carriage. But the third brother could creep through any crack. He crept out of the box. The guards were very surprised to see him again. 
to eleven. So they took him to the king. The king said, "How clever you are!" The king was not pleased. The king said, "Take him out to the sea. Tie a stone around his waist. Drop him in the deepest part of the sea." The third brother said, "Sir, my mother is home by herself." Please let me go home and say goodbye to her," the king said. "It's only fair. Go now." Page twelve. The third. So the third brother went home. He asked the fourth brother to go back in his place. The fourth brother went back. To the king, the girls took him to the deepest waters. They dropped him in the deepest part. The fourth brother could stretch and stretch his legs. Page thirteen. He did just that until his feet touched touched the bottom of the sea. The first brother did not sink. The girls pulled him out of the water and took him to the king. The king said, "Take him to the dungeon." Page fourteen. The fourth brother said, "Sir, my mother is home by herself. Please let me go home and say goodbye to her." The king said, "It's only fair. Go now." So the fourth brother went home. He asked the fifth brother to go back in his place. The fifth brother went back to the king. Page fifteen. The girls put the fifth brother in the deep and cold dungeon. The fifth brother knew how to spin. He. Flew up and up and up through the roof. The king was in his bed. Suddenly, he heard a loud, loud rumble. The floor was. Shaking. Page sixteen. Soon the fifth brother came spinning up through the floor. The king was frightened. The king said, "You're a wizard. How did you do that?" The king shouted for the girls, but the fifth brother says, "Sir, don't call the girls." I'm different from other people, but I also had a special gift, just like you. The fifth brother pointed at the king's feet. The king said, "I do." The fifth brother said, "Look at your feet." The king had large feet. He didn't like his feet. He was embarrassed to show his feet to anyone. The fifth brother said, "Sir, you have a big feet. They can be used be to make mashed potatoes." The king said, "Mashed potatoes." 
The fifth brother says, Yes! The king realized that he was also different. He realized that he had a special gift. He made hundreds of pounds of mashed potatoes with his feet. From then on, the king was proud of his big feet. He happily showed his feet to everyone. The five brothers and their mother were also happy. They ate a lot of mashed potatoes and then the king never bothered them again.